Hello, my name is Yolanda Smith. This is my husband, Watkins Smith, and we just want to share our experience with the Tom Joyner Fantastic Voyage. We met in 2011 on the cruise, probably day three, uh, white night. Uh, my husband was a frequent cruiser. It was my first time. We left out of Galveston uh, on Royal Caribbean, right? Yes. And uh, we actually met in the hot tub on the third day. My hot tub. His hot tub. He did the three-on-three -three basketball tournament usually, and he said I was in his spot. Uh, but we <laughs> struck up a conversation and hung out on the cruise. We actually saw each other at White Night. We actually have a picture. Yes, we do. The first day we met, which is really weird for married people, but we come to the cruise every year. It's kind of an anniversary celebration. Um, he can tell you about how we hung out and he didn't get my phone number to the end of it. <laughs> yes, and that was all my fault, but God is good. Uh, I had not got her contact information and I'm going down the escalator. If you've been on a cruise, you know when you're debarking, you see all the people down there. And I said to myself, you know, I did not get her contact information. And I'm like, Lord, what am I going to do? When I reached the bottom of the escalator, the crowd parted as if it was the Red Sea. I'm telling you the truth. And I saw her standing across the room and all I could do was laugh. I'm walking up to her and she's wondering why am I laughing and I'm just shaking my head. And I got her contact information and here we are. Here we are. We've been married eight years. We've probably been to four of the last seven cruises since we got married. They didn't have one in 2020, but we did go in 2021. So we use it as kind of an anniversary. We see our friends, we go to the concerts, we go to the shows, we try to hang as long as we can. Sometimes we do the 2 a.m., sometimes we don't. But we owe Tom Joyner and the cruise, you know, our marriage. And we, yes, we, we, we put it off for years, I did. And when I finally did go, look what I ended up with. So yes. what happens on the cruise is supposed to stay on the cruise, but <laughs> as our shirts say, what happens on the cruise ends up married. So that's kind of where we are. We encourage you to come. We are actually going uh, for this upcoming cruise in May. And so it's the best time you'll ever have, best vacation ever. Did you want to say something? Also the best family reunion. Right. Uh, from over 10 years ago, I met people on the cruise, stayed in contact with some of them. But every year I would go back looking forward to the people I had met in previous years. So if you ever thought about you wanted to support HBCUs, this is your opportunity and to have a good time. Whether you bring your younger friends or your older friends, this cruise is for everyone from age 21 to 100. If you can get on it, get on it. And you will never forget it. Never forget it. And it's a tax write-off. You do get a <laughs> statement from Tom. It's a tax write-off. But we have a great time. And we appreciate the opportunity to share our story. Um, and we plan to go as long as we can. So thank you for having us. And we will see you in 2023, May.